Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. My name is Chase Horvath. I'm a technical specialist for Hybrid Cloud Technologies with IBM Federal. Uh, today I want to show you how a product we have called Aspera performs over low bandwidth wireless connections. I'm going to use a cell phone connection, but what we're going to show here is uh, we're going to move a whole lot of data through a really tiny connection that's both got decent latency and some packet loss. All right, so a quick overview of what we're going to do today. Uh, first, we're going to connect to my cell phone hotspot, and then we're going to benchmark my network performance uh, so that we kind of know what we're dealing with. And then I'm going to download a file using Aspera. We're going to see how that performs and take a look at the controls that I have over it. Uh, we'll be using the Aspera browser plugin. Uh, we'll be able to see you know, just how much of my bandwidth I'm able to use. And then I'm going to add in uh, some network congestion, and we'll watch how the Aspera download actively compensates for that traffic on the network. Uh, we'll use video streaming for this, for uh, adding network congestion. And then after that, I'll show you how Aspera um, can be used uh, to resume a lost connection. So we'll do this by actually turning my hotspot off, so it'll be a, a very ungraceful uh, connection loss, and then we'll resume the download. Finally, uh, we'll try to download a large file using TCP just so we can see how a normal download would perform under those same network conditions. So I finished connecting and as you can see I'm averaging uh, 2 megabytes a second down and a little over 300 milliseconds of latency. And this is going to vary a little bit throughout the test as would any wireless connection. So next let's actually download a uh, file using Aspera. What I've just done is I've started to download a one gigabyte file uh, through our public test server. And we'll see it start up and I'm able to control uh, my target download speed uh, through this interface. So this is actually using the Aspera plugin for Firefox. And I'm able to control this target speed and I see this graph which is gonna tell me my network transfer speed over time which is really useful. Um, I'm also going to be able to set the traffic policy, which is going to help Aspera determine how aggressive to be when automatically throttling itself as to not interfere with other traffic on the network. So I max out uh, about right above what my speed test said was my max, so that's great. And as I said, the network quality is, is going to vary because it's a cell phone signal. So I'm getting near 100% network utilization, it looks like. Um, and I can set the target speed kind of to whatever I want, and Aspera will try and match it. I can also crank it way up and go as fast as I as fast as I want to. It'll go up. You know, it'll try to use all the bandwidth it can. Um, so you see, I I put it down and it and it decreased to the target speed. And now now I cranked it back up, and we'll watch the speed slowly increase as it as it comes back. So now we're back up to near 2 megabytes a second, which is near 100% network utilization, which is great. Uh, and with TCP, I would expect to see much less network utilization. So now I'm going to start to put some congestion on the network. I'm going to start a couple of YouTube videos. And uh, Aspera is going to notice that I've done this. And using the FAIR policy that I have set, will decrease its transfer speed to allow for the other network traffic to pass unhindered. Uh, this way I can still stream full quality videos uh, while my download continues. And I can watch it do this in the transfer monitor. So I'm going to stop the YouTube videos now, and Aspera is going to detect that there's no more network congestion, and then it's going to resume using the unused bandwidth. And as I mentioned earlier, the aggressiveness of this can be tweaked using the policies, uh, kind of depending on certain network characteristics, uh, for example, satellite or radio connections, you may want to set different thresholds uh, for certain parameters that you can tune it with. So now I'm going to turn off my hotspot. And I'm not going to pause my download or anything first. I'm going to be as mean as possible to it. And you can watch the transfer monitor speed drop to zero. Aspera will automatically continue trying to reconnect um, at adjustable intervals, so you can set those intervals, and it will pick up where it left off with the download uh, as soon as it's able to reconnect. And I can even go back and resume this download days later if I want. So I restart my hotspot, and Aspera is going to pick up the download right where it left off, and it'll slowly ramp up its speed to get to its target. 
So we just simulated a network outage. You know, some may last for seconds, some may last for days, but Espera is able to pick right up where it left off and continue downloading. So just as a benchmark, it looks like it's going to take us around an hour to download this one gigabyte file. Uh, if we can maintain that average of 1.75 megabits per second. And that's perfectly within the range of the, the 2 megabit connection speed that we benchmarked earlier. Let's see what kind of speeds we can get with a TCP based download. Uh, Ubuntu is a great candidate and we can download that over TCP. So I've stopped my uh, transfer in the Aspera control box and uh, I'm going to start the Ubuntu download. Looks like I'm getting less than 200 kilobits per second. Uh, most of the time I'm actually in the low 100 kilobits per second. So that's between 5 and 10 percent of what I knew my bandwidth to be, which is exactly what I would expect from a TCP connection. So when I compare that 5 to 10 percent to the near 100 percent network utilization that I get from Aspera, uh, you know, Aspera is just going to give you a faster, more predictable, and more reliable download across the board on nearly any network. If you want to try it on your network, you can actually go to the link that I have on screen and you'll be able to use the exact same download and uh, browser plugin that I've just showed you. So I definitely encourage you to do that. If you have any questions about how Aspera works or you're interested in the product in general, please just get in contact with me. My email's on the screen. I would love to talk with you about it. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you have a good day.